Hey guys, Levi Gates for the Rag Company, and welcome back to Detox. And with me, from Rupes USA, Mr. Dylan Von Kleist. Thank you for having me, my sir. My brother from another mother. <laughs> I am so thankful that you're here because I, not only is it fun to have you here, we get to go hang out, we get to go eat. I bring stuff. You bring stuff. I you bring, bring stuff. <laughs> I and come toys with things and all kinds of cool things. Uh, this isn't even available yet. Yep, that is just about to so. start shipping. The fantastic triple action LTA 125, which is an so, all new tool. Triple action, and it's got three different rotations. <sighs> yeah, there's three basically. things going on. Yeah. So it's still a random orbital tool, so yeah. there's no driven rotation. The common thing people think, oh, it's a gear driven. No, it's not. Yeah. It's gear reduced. Yeah. So up there in that little bell housing kind of shape thing there is what's called an epicyclic gear reduction. And it's fancy talk for basically a set of gears that takes speed and creates torque. Yeah. So think of it like the transmission in your car and a lower gear. This one's just always in a low gear. So all of an air tool is always like, for example, the LHR 75 here, this thing runs at 11,000 RPM when it's wide open. It's flying. Yeah. Because air generates high speed. Yeah. It has no torque whatsoever. It's very also very easy to even at full speed to lean on this thing and stall it out. Well, if we take that and we run it through that gear set, so the air motor spins up, but then takes all that movement and translates it through a gear set, the gear set is now generating torque instead of speed. So that operates at a lower RPM, but it's far more consistent. So you can put some pressure on it. Yeah. So air tools typically put air pressure on them, they stall out. That, the main benefit of that is it's just consistency. Yeah. Um, you put that in, you know, that's kind of in di designed primarily as like an industrial uh, factory type tool, yeah. you know, where they're doing a lot of repetitive work polishing or sanding on things. Well. It still has applications in detailing, but in that environment, a factory environment, consistency is key. They want to have the same result over and over again. I polish this thing, and then they put another one in front of me, I polish another one, I polish another one. Well, if one guy comes in and presses really hard, and the guy comes in and doesn't press as hard, you're going to have a very different right. finish, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So that gear set, by producing torque and producing consistency and movement, means that regardless, well, not regardless, but less dependent on the operator's input, the consistency of what's going to happen is okay. much higher. That's cool. Yeah. And, you know, we've talked about this before, not a lot of guys in the detailing world use air tools. There are those guys that have yeah. shops that have the air supply to run it, but there are, I'd say, I don't know, I, I couldn't even put a percentage on it, a vast majority of guys just there don't are. have yeah. a compressor. They have like, you know, their little Craftsman pancake compressor, which is still great. You can use it to blow, blow out air. interiors or blow yeah. out pads. But yeah. you can't run an air tool. You yeah. got a significant amount of CFM tied up in these. And as a matter of fact, if, if we can, when this video goes up, I'll give you a link. Yeah. It's on our website where we tell you how many CFM for the various tools, but um, it requires, I mean, a good size compressor and yeah. some serious horsepower to run them. If you have it, it's, I mean, you've experienced it. It's like oh, there's yeah, no, no replacement no, no. for well, air tools. And, and not only that, but like if you're trying to grow your shop, uh, if you think about it, let's say that, you know, just using an airline to blow out pads and blow out interiors on cars mm -hmm. um, or drying cars or any of that kind of stuff, you use a lot of air. Mm -hmm. And if all of a sudden you have let's say two or three or four bays and every guy is running an airline and you've got four cars getting detailed at once or three cars getting detailed at once mm -hmm. and each guy has an airline or even if you just have two bays and there's four employees and two on either side of the car you're gonna run still out of air. four airlines <laughs> yeah. you're gonna run out of air on hurry. that little yeah. tiny pancake or that little 10 gallon air compressor yeah, it, so you need to make that step up to 60 or 80 or 100 gallon tanks just so you have that capacity of air yep but a lot of guys don't think that you have to remember your refill rate and your CFM. Yep. And so you need an air compressor that can one, fill back up. Cause the last thing you guys want <laughs> is, yeah, you have one guy and I guarantee <laughs> there are many of you who bought a Tornador yep. for the first time on a 20 gallon tank or a 15 <laughs> gallon tank, used it for maybe two minutes and then had to wait while that tank filled back up. Yeah. I can use it again. Yeah. And I can use it one more yeah. time. And uh, I uh, I had a, I still do, I have a very small Craftsman uh, air compressor <laughs> from the 60s that was my great uncle's. Oh, jeez. And it just makes a noise of a buka, 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 yeah. <laughs> And that's all it does. And it takes, it, I kid you not, it's a five gallon air compressor and it takes probably 30 minutes. To, to fill up. Basically you're running air nailer and that's yeah. probably about it, it right? Yeah, yeah. You be, and I don't even, I use it to fill up bike tires because that's all <laughs> it's good for. Um, 
but it's it's very slow. Yeah. And I bought another just little home use, uh, pan, like a stacked air compressor. Mm -hmm. That's the same volume, two and a half gallons on each tank, but it fills up very quickly. So I almost don't seem to run out of air because it's yeah. it's quiet, but it fills up quickly because it can continue to run. Um, and so a lot of guys don't understand that part of it either. Yeah. And so you need to have a good air compressor because not only will it benefit you in your shop, but then you get to use cool air tools yeah. like this. You get to use air tools like the Tornador uh, and, and you're able to be more efficient, work a little quicker. And there's some benefit to using, I mean, air tools, polishers, Tornadors, that kind of stuff is all, it all has its benefits to you. But in terms of just polishing specifically, yeah. an air tool has far fewer moving parts. Fewer That's things true. to break. They're much, I mean, if you look at it, basically the body of this tool is just here so you have something to put your hand on. There's really, this it's is just airline. flow through, right? Yeah. So all of your working parts are up here. This is basically a palm sander for all intents yeah. and purposes, right? This is all just for pan placement. Because you have less moving parts, all you really have is the veins within the air motor, then you have bearings and things like that. There's fewer things to break. Yep. They're less expensive to get into initially. So if you do invest in, oh, guys always get hung up on it because you do need you know, like 13, 14 CFM to run an air tool yeah. effectively, right? And that's gonna be a two, $3,000 compressor at minimum. And it's not about the air tank size. You can have a 100 gallon air tank, but if you don't produce, an, if you don't have a high enough horsepower compressor to get your refill rate up and producing enough CFM, it doesn't matter. Big, big air compressor doesn't mean good air compressor, it's yeah. about your CFM. But once you make that two to $3,000 investment, the savings for you over time and being able to purchase air tools and the lower cost of maintenance of air tools that just require a couple drops of air tool oil every once in a while, it's a long-term play. Yeah. And I, most guys don't think that way. They're like, man, $3,000. Yeah, no, they, they look at it and go like, I, uh, I can't, you know how many bags of, or you know, like things of compound and polish and, yep. and soaps I can get for that. Yeah. I'll just deal with a $150 Harbor Freight. Yep. You know. And, and, and if that's your reality, I get it. And it's a, it is a, depends on where you're at in your business, I guess. If you're investing for the long term, I would say if once you well, have the ability to do it, you do also it. Also get yourself a good air compressor. Yeah, buy right or buy twice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I made the mistake of buying uh, what I thought was a nice air compressor, but it wasn't, uh, it didn't last. Mm -hmm. I went through four of them in two years. Jeez. And thankfully I bought the extended warranty and I was able to literally <laughs> just replace it. Uh, I'd call them out, they'd come fix it, and then they'd just replace it every, because they do, they replaced it four times because uh, they had to repair it three times each time. And after the third repair, they just replace it. And <laughs> it was one of those where it was, it was funny because I was like, eh, it's no big deal, it's getting replaced. But it was frustrating to yeah. have something be replaced that often. And so, not only, you know, and it was easy and cheap and I just bought it because I didn't want to spend the money on a high, I wanted lots of volume and lots of air capacity, but I didn't really give, you know, I didn't care about the quality of the build of the tool, yeah. of the machine itself, which goes back to one of your last, your, uh, one of your uh, other topics we've talked about was the, uh, the $50 detail, yeah. you know, where do you put in your money, you know, spend money where you need to so that you can actually get good things because if you're going to go shortcut and cheap on it, it's not going to work. I'm yep. guilty of that. I did it. Everybody's done and, it. Yeah. And it didn't help us, but to have something nice and actually spend the money on something proper yeah. that was going to work, that's consistent, because if you think about all the downtime that you have to deal with and put up with, I had to literally go rent another air compressor to have as a backup <laughs> Just in to case. run for the two days that, I, that that machine was down. Yep. And the time it took me to have to leave my shop, grab my truck, go get an air compressor, come back, hook all that up, it's just time. And so if you, you know, amalgamate all those hours and hook them all up and add them all up, all the years, all the time, I should have just done it the first time and bought a high quality air compressor, which I finally did. And it was amazing. <laughs> and then my and, life changed. <laughs> yeah, and it was great. Uh, and I didn't have to buy a big machine, but I bought one that had a high CFM and a high rate of uh, refill. Yep. And so it was all of a sudden we turned it on and we were like, oh, this is amazing. Like it never ran out of air. We never had drops in air pressure. Yep. It was consistent, well, which allowed my guys to work better, more efficiently and easier. And it's just, I mean, it just does so many things for a detail shop. I mean, the unfortunate reality is you're not gonna find, well, I should take this back, to run air tools, you're never gonna find a compressor that you can go mobile with. It's just the, yeah. the size required, you just can't yeah. do it. So sorry, mobile guys, 
this is still out of reach. But if you're gonna run a shop, if it's not just about running air tools. Once you get that and you do, to your point earlier, you got a bunch of guys running, you're able to supply them with consistent amounts of air. You can run things like Tornadors. You can run just just having well, the ability to blow your pads out. Well, then there's on guys the with lifts yeah. that are air controlled lifts. Yep. You can use your air compressor to put a lift in your shop. You can use it to take wheels and tires off, get your impact gun, take all that stuff off. Yep. Uh, you know, a lot of us, maybe we like to wrench and work on our cars. Now you have a shop that has a lift and an air compressor. Yeah, exactly. And all stuff. Hey, we can start working on our. You can do oil changes and yeah, and it's it's all maintenance. Your own maintenance on your vehicle. It's an investment. On an off day. Yeah, it's an investment. And no, and I would never discount the fact that I mean it's still a substantial amount of money to spend. Yeah, I mean, it it's is. a more expensive part of your equipment that you're going to buy, but the return on what that is is so huge that if if you can afford to do it, it's absolutely a must-have in any shop. Yeah, it, it, just for the basic functions of blowing pads out and all the way up to things like running tools. Well, and one, that was so. one of the things that with uh, my shop was that was one of the goals of that air compressor was being able to start having this availability to, mm -hmm. to buy and be able to utilize air tools. Mm -hmm. Because they, like you said, it, you, once you start getting six or seven employees in a shop and tools are being used, it gets, you have to buy more and more tools and to be able to buy them cheaper and also maintain have them, them last longer and yep. maintain them, it starts sounding more and more appealing uh, <laughs> at your bottom line. So. Yeah. It, it really does help. Uh, so I'm excited. We got to play with these when we were in Colorado. Uh, it was a ton of fun. Uh, if you haven't seen the videos of us doing it, uh, Dane will add a link in this, uh, in this video so you can check it out. Uh, but these are phenomenal machines. I'm super excited to, to play with these this weekend and use these while you're here. You guys have a uh, fancy new compressor, we do. don't you? I want to thank Champion for hooking us up with a very large 80 gallon uh, air compressor that we have in the corner back over here in the studio which so now we can start utilizing air in all our videos because we haven't been I've been bringing my little air compressor from home to use for certain <laughs> uh, you know classes and things that we've been using but now we finally have dedicated air in the shop here so super excited to be able well, to play with that so. I'll, I'll help you break it in yes please. <laughs> <laughs> well awesome brother I appreciate yeah. you coming out and helping me with this always a pleasure to be here it's gonna be fun so uh, you can learn more about uh, the new air tools and the triple action polisher here, uh, the LTA 125, and when it is going to be available by checking out rupezusa.com. And uh, also, you can check out events on yep. there so you can see where these are going to be in your neck of the woods. And uh, make sure you like, follow, and subscribe below. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos right here on the Rag Company YouTube channel. Talk to you later.